Hi, I'm Simon Can. Welcome to Synthesizer Bootcamp. This is the third video in the series and looks at envelopes, specifically four stage envelopes, which, for reasons that will become clear, are often called ADSR envelopes. There are many different types of envelope, but this type of envelope is the most common. Envelopes don't make any sound. Instead, they generate a level which changes over time. This level can then be applied to any modulation destination. For instance, it could be applied to an oscillator's pitch, a filter's cutoff frequency, or an amplifier's volume. The ADSR envelope has four stages, and at each stage you have a certain amount of control over the envelope. The first stage is the attack stage. When a note is triggered, the envelope's level goes from zero to the maximum level. You can set the time over which this attack transition occurs. The second stage is the decay stage. After a note has hit the maximum level at the end of the attack stage, it will start to decay until it reaches a plateau. You can set the decay time, in other words, the time it takes for the level to go from the maximum amount to the plateau level. The third stage is the sustain stage, which is the plateau level that is reached at the end of the decay stage. You can set this sustain level and the envelope level will remain at this level while a note continues to be held. After a note is released, it will enter the release stage. You can set the release time, which is the time it will take a note to decay from the sustain level to zero after the note is released. You can apply these level changes to any modulation destination that you choose. The character of the sound will then be determined by the initial settings of the modulation destination, the settings of the envelope controls, and the depth of the modulation. In other words, the extent to which the envelope affects the modulation destination. Let's have a listen to each of these controls on an envelope working in practice. For these examples, I've set an envelope to modulate the cutoff frequency of a low pass filter. When the envelope's level is at zero, then the filter is fully closed, so you'll hear nothing. And when the envelope's level is at the maximum, then the filter will be fully open, and so you'll hear a bright sound. First, listen to the effect of the sound when the attack time changes. Before we move on, you should be aware of the significant interaction between the decay time and the sustain level. When the sustain level is set at a high level, then the decay time has little effect since the maximum peak at the end of the attack stage and the sustain level are very similar. Equally, if the decay time is set to a large value, then it will take the sound a long time to reach the sustain level and so the effect of the sustain phase may have less significance for the sound's character. In setting the decay time and sustain level in the next two audio examples, I've made sure we can hear the effect of the changes. This is the effect on the sound when the decay time changes. Here's how the sound changes when the sustain level changes. Finally, listen to how the sound changes when the release time changes.
That's the end of this video. If you want to know more, then take a look at the other videos in this Synthesizer Bootcamp series. You should also check out some of my books about synthesis, which cover the issues raised in these videos in much greater detail. In particular, I suggest you look at How to Make a Noise and Becoming a Synthesizer Wizard from Presets to Power User. Both are available from all leading bookstores, including the online stores. You can find out more about Synthesizer Bootcamp and my books by visiting my website, noisesculpture.com. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.